Hello coders, I hope you are coding well. In the previous video, we created the JWT service in our project and we added some important methods related to JWT creation and validation. We implemented user details in our user entity as well. So we can access the features of Spring security in our user entity. In today's video, we will add JWT authentication filter and user service in our project. JWT authentication filter is the class where we will validate the JWT for every API. So let's get started. In the configuration package, right click and in the new section, click on Java class and write the name JWT authentication filter. Let's annotate this JWT authentication filter as component. You can annotate this as at the rate service or at the rate repository. Let's add annotation for required orgs constructor. Now we need to extend our filter with once per request filter. This will ask us to implement methods and we need to implement this do filter internal method. Let's click on OK. Before going into this method, let's create some objects. So we'll write private final JWT service. And let's duplicate this and write user service here. We will create this class just a bit later. In this two filter internal, we have a request, response and a filter chain. Request is just API request and the response that we will return. Filter chain contains the other filters that need to be applied on the request. Let's start implementation in this two filter internal. First, we need to get the authorization header from the request. To do that, we can call request.get header and then we can give authorization in the parameter and we will get the auth header. After the auth header, let's create another final string JWT. We will store our JWT token in this string. And after this, let's duplicate this and uh, rename it to user email. So we can save user email here. First of all, we need to check our auth header if it is empty or not. We will use a string utils dot is empty method. and we will pass auth header. Let's add another condition and check if uh, the auth is not starting from bearer. So let's add not here. We will use string utils dot start with, but we need to add one dependency to use this method. Let's go to our POM file and paste the dependency. The group ID for this dependency is org.apache.commons and the artifact ID is commons lang3. Let's refresh our POM file. Now let's use this apache.commons.lang3 string utils dot starts with here first param should be auth header and after comma you can write here bearer and then space in the body of this if condition let's call do filter of the filter chain
escape request and a response and don't forget to write return here so uh, this is done let's now get our token and store it in jwt variable so this should be equal to auth header dot substring and here we will give seven because if you count from b to this space there are seven letters here after getting the jwt let's get user email before this let's get the methods from jwt implementation and add them in jwt service for now we only need this extract username and generate jwt token we will update this file when needed let's go back to our filter and call this method jwt service dot extract username and here we need to give our jwt token in the parameter let's add another if condition here and in this if condition first we will check if the user email is not empty so we will use string utils dot is not empty method and we will give user email here after this check we will add another check for security context holder so let's write here security dot get context dot get authentication is equals to null in the body of this if condition let's create an object of user details and this we should get from user service dot user details service and then load user by username in our application the username is equals to user email now uh, let's create this user service for this we need to go to the services folder and click here new java class and click interface write the name user service and click on enter let's create the implementation as well let's annotate this service with at the rate service annotation and at the rate required aux constructor let's create object of our user repository in this uh, service implementation let's create a method user details service and in this method let's return user details service by getting the username from our repository let's create this find by email in our user repository so this will return one optional user let's update this from by id to by email now let's go back to our user service implementation and we need to add one semicolon here let's mention this method in user service
and let's update this to implements user service now let's go back to our JWT authentication filter and import this class so the error is gone now now we need uh, to create another method in our JWT service implementation and that method we will use to check our uh, token validity so this will be public and this will return a boolean the name should be is token valid and this will accept a string token and user details first we will extract the username from the token for that we need to create a variable username and here we can call our extract username method and we need to pass here token so this will give us uh, the username from the token and we will return here user name dot equals user details dot get username and here we need to call another method to check the expiration is token expired and of course we will give token in the pattern now let's create this is token expired method so we will uh, return private boolean let's accept the token let's uh, return here and call extract claims and here we will give token and we will give claims get expiration after this we will check that if this is before our current date So uh, this will first get the expiration from our token and then check if the expiration is before the current date. This is it for JWT service implementation. Let's copy this method and add it in JWT service. Now we will use this method in our JWT authentication filter. Let's write here if JWT service dot is token valid. Let's give our JWT and user details that we just got. In this body of the if condition, uh, let's create an empty security contacts. let's call here security contacts holder dot create empty contacts now we need to create an object for our username password authentication token let's name it token and this should be equal to new username password authentication token and in the params we need to give user details and uh, for credentials we can pass here null and in the last we need to give the authorities 
after this now let's access the token and set the details by giving new uh, web authentication details source dot build details and uh, let's pass our request after this in our security contacts let's set authentication as this token and let's update the security context holder dot set contacts with our security contacts and at the end uh, we need to just call uh, the do filter and we need to pass the request and our response so uh, this is it for this video uh, let's recap the work we did in this video we added our uh, user uh, service implementation and in this implementation we are just uh, trying to fetch our user by the user name which is user email in our application after this we updated our jwt uh, service implementation and in this class we added is token valid method and is token expired and we added our JWT authentication filter and we extended this uh, with once per request filter. We implemented the do filter internal by getting the JWT from our auth header and from that J JWT we got our username and after getting the username we validated uh, the JWT expiration date and other things. Uh, and after that we just updated our security contacts holder with our new login.